Hey guys, hope you're all good today. In the previous videos, we've seen the examples of the error function and the abort function which are used in the expression transformation. In this video will highlight the differences between the two. The error function causes the power center integration service to skip a row and issue an error message, which you define. The error message displays in the session log. The power center integration service does not write these skip rows to the session reject file. You use the error function in expression transformation to validate data. Generally, you use the error function within an if or decode function to set rules for skipping rows. You use the error function for both input and output port default values. You might use error for input ports to keep nulls from null values from passing into the transformation. You use the error for output ports to handle any kind of transformation error, including error function calls within an expression. When you use the error function in an expression and in the output port default value, the power center integration service skips the row and logs both the error messages from the expression and the error message from the default value. If you want to ensure the power center integration service skips rows that produce an error, assign error as the default value. The abort function stops the session and issues a specified error message to the log file. When the power center integration service encounters an abort function, it stops transforming data at that row. It processes any rows read before the session aborts and loads them based on the source or target based commit interval and buffer block size defined for the session. The power center integration service writes to the target up to the aborted row and then rolls back all uncommitted data to the last commit point. You can perform recovery on, in, on the session after rollback. You use abort to validate data. Generally, you use abort within an if or decode function to set rules for the abort during the session. You use the abort function for both input and output port default values. You might use abort for input ports to keep null values from passing into the transformation. You can also use abort to handle any kind of transformation error, including the error function calls within an expression. The default value overrides the error function in an expression. If you want to ensure the session stops when an error occurs, assign abort as the default value. I hope you have a better understanding of the error and the abort functions used in the expression transformation and they'll be of some use to you in your practical life. In the coming videos, we'll be discussing more functions that can be used in the expression transformation and other transformations such as the filter transformations as well. So stay with us and thank you so much. Bye bye.